the Surface Duo might have Microsoft's worst user interface ever. Worse than Windows 8? Worse than the Kin? Yep, maybe so. And I'll tell you why. First, let's look at how the Surface Pro works with Windows 10. Now this is in tablet mode, and we have the start screen is right up front, and we can smooth scroll through all these uh, live tiles, which are kind of like widgets, but they can also launch programs, and all I have to do is point and poke to open something. So let's do that. And we also have some non-discoverable gestures in the system. On the right edge, you swipe in, and you get the notifications and the action center. So that's pretty nice. Pretty easy. Left edge, you swipe in, and you get the uh, task manager. And here you just have to point and poke to uh, switch apps. Pretty easy. Now, the more complicated gesture is we swipe down from the top. Now we're grabbing the app and I can move it over here. And now I have split screen, two apps. And I can grab it like this and then put it to the top and we're back to maximize. Or I can grab it and throw it away and it's gone. That's it. How many gestures was that? Maybe four? Pretty simple. Now let's go back to the Surface Duo. So those four or five gestures on the uh, regular Surface tablets are pretty good. You know, it's not that much to memorize. And they work on all the Surface devices, so it, it translates pretty nicely. They look like they would work really nicely on this Surface Duo, but Microsoft completely changed the gestures, and they're all also hidden. And there's a lot more of them. So first we're on the home screen. And you can swipe this way to see other pages. These are left edge and right edge swipes. So they do that sometimes, switching pages. Up from the bottom doesn't do anything sometimes. If we touch in the middle, we get the application drawer. There's no indication that any of that would happen. There's no application drawer button. Not there, you just have to figure this out. If you swipe down, that's the search. Sometimes, if you swipe down from here, you get the notifications in the action center. This is uh, completely different from on the other Surface devices where a right swipe would get you the notifications. So, that's a lot to learn. Now let's launch some programs. Uh, how about this one? And how about this one? And you see they launch in separate uh, windows as split screen right away. And now we have a scroll bar at the bottom. It's not really a scroll bar, it just looks like one. It's a little white wiener bar. And if you tap it, nothing happens. So we don't know. Oh, something happened over there. Turns out you swipe up and it makes the program go away. Sometimes. If you swipe up a little bit and stay there for a little while, maybe we'll have a uh, task management interface. You can only see one app at a time, so it's not that great for task management. So that's a little confusing already. Now here's another one. If you swipe up and then over, maybe it'll go over to this screen. If you swipe up and kind of hold it in the middle, maybe it'll go to both screens and span them. Now when we have two apps here, or any app here, the left and right edges have a completely different function than they did when they were on the home screen. Now a little edge swipe functions as the back button. Over here, back button, back button, back button. Now this is a problem because some apps, like this one, we have a edge gesture that brings over that menu. 
So what happens when it's over here? Nothing. We don't get that. So we're, we got some uh, interface problems here. If, if this is on the left side, left edge doesn't show my thing. <laughs> my panel doesn't work. I can get it if it's on this side. And I can get it here. Oh, oh, sometimes that was a back button. That was a, this is a back button. That's a back button. Okay. Confusing gestures. Now, let's open two more apps. And guess what happens when we rotate? All those gestures we just learned, the right edge swipe, the left edge swipe, the bottom up swipe, all of those are gone. All those are wrong when we're in this layout. Now we have the wiener bar on the right side. Swiping doesn't do the back button anymore. It goes to the task manager or maybe it'll minimize that app. So now the bottom edge to top gestures are now on the right edge to middle gestures. Confused yet? You should be. Now the, the back button is on the left edge still. So that works. That's a little bit consistent. If it works sometimes. Let's try that again. Back. There we go. Left edge still works. But it still has that interference. And let's go back to the home screen. Home screen is completely different now, too. We have icons on the right for some reason, and instead of doing a paging left to right like it did when we were rotated the other way, now it pages top to bottom. So what happened to the bottom to top app drawer? It's not here anymore. You don't get the app drawer. You have to go right to left completely different. And where's the search? The top to the, you know, the middle top to bottom for search doesn't work anymore unless we're all the way at the top. Very confusing. And for some reason, this thing is still a left to right swipe, whereas all the other pages are top to bottom swipes. Very inconsistent, very confusing. Way too many hidden gestures here. Other things that's awesome about Surface devices is the Surface Pen support. Just about all of them allow this on the screen so we can write and stuff. But the Surface Duo, the software, doesn't really implement anything that makes this useful. Like watch this, what if I wanna search for something? First of all, it's not even working right now. Here we go. Look what I get, a keyboard. So it treats the pen just like another finger. And what use is that, right? I might as well just use another finger. There's no handwriting recognition. You know, on, on other Surface devices, I can have a handwriting panel and just draw, write, you know, cursive, print, write my words. Not here. And there isn't, there isn't even anything. I can't grab a, there isn't a, there isn't a scroll bar. This is just acting as another finger. Normally I would be able to grab a scroll bar, drag it all the way down really quickly and be at the end of the page. Instead you gotta just flick. Look how much time this takes. There's nothing to make use of this pen, except maybe one note. Let's get it on both screens. On one note, I can draw, I can write, but it sometimes, sometimes doesn't work. See, look at that. It's not, it's not writing. Now it's writing.
and where's the pressure? The pressure sensitivity is in here. Sometimes it just jets out like that. And where's the uh, convert to text? I can't convert handwriting to text in OneNote <clears throat> because it's Android, I guess. So that lack of useful pen support is pretty embarrassing, I would say. So here we're only talking about the design of the Surface Duo's interface. In reality, it's even worse since often things don't even work. Sometimes the orientation doesn't switch. Sometimes both screens don't turn on. Sometimes the screen switching doesn't work. Sometimes the complicated gestures aren't recognized or invoked correctly. It's, it's kind of a mess.